Hello, Mr. WAPK here, and tomorrow the culling is getting updated, and I want to overview everything that is getting updated. This is my character here. I'm probably going to change him because he looks kind of stupid. Okay, shift tab, and I will show you. The patch is coming tomorrow, Wednesday, March 30th. From 8 a.m. until noon Eastern Time, the servers will be down for the patch. They're updating every two weeks. They're sticking to that cadence for early access. You can use their help center to submit bugs, suggestions, report cheaters. The major changes are initial optimization of the network code to reduce lag. Optimization is ongoing. All melee weapons rebalance in terms of jab and charge attack speeds. Nobody knows what that means, and they won't tell us. We gotta figure that out. If you find out when the patch comes out, let me know. Several fixes to issues that were allowed when you were crafting punji sticks and using them. They could be abused, and they can't anymore. They can no longer be placed on top of each other. They can no longer be placed on walls, doors, or pylons. And they can be destroyed by taking damage. They rebalance the movement speed perks. Leg day has reduced uh, the movement speed from 10% to 7%. Speedy Spear and Runs with Knives increased to 13% from 10%. Movement speed perks now cost additional stamina when sprinting. So they really nerfed these movement speed perks. Leg Day, which the one is that's the one that everyone uses usually, is 7% instead of 10%. That's not too much smaller. Speedy Spear and Runs with Knives, that went up, so people that use that, that's good for them, I guess. But usually they com they combine these two, so it's kind of about the same, if you combine them. And it now costs additional stamina. Yeah, that's a bit of a nerf. You can run faster away, but you're not going to run as long. Reduce firearms damage by two hits per bullet. That's really not much. Two hit points, that's really not much per bullet. That really doesn't even matter. It might nerf it a little bit, but really no difference. Fix for bug where some players could not see their unlocked items in the front end menus. I don't think that's happened to me, so if that's happened to you, it won't happen again. So that's good. The minor changes. Fixes for several spots in the map where players could get stuck. So they keep fixing the places where you can get stuck, and that's very good that they're fixing that. Replace lots of placeholder map art assets. So they had placeholder map art assets, and they replaced them, so they should look better now. Fix for the issue where the gas would not appear at the end of the match, and that issue was horrible. The match could go on forever. Now that can't happen. Fix for players being able to stand on another player's head. I've seen that. I've never done it. I guess that's a good thing that you can't stand on their head anymore because uh, that's probably hard to do. Surprise me, Airdrop will no longer call itself. I never knew it could call itself, but it's good it can't anymore. Fix for crash when anything other than a player is caught in a non-explosive trap. I have never seen that, but they fixed it. Fix for being able to avoid another player's block by aiming at their feet or above their head. I think that's very good that they fixed that because that was horrible. You could block and get hit anyway. Fix for backstabs not registering if they are aimed too high or too low. That's a good fix because you might not aim right at the middle of their back. You might aim at their neck or maybe their thigh. So it's good that they fix that. Fix for bug where hitting an already stunned player with a stun gun would partially free them from the stun effects. Yeah, that's, that's a good fix because now stun guns have been nerfed, so you don't want to nerf them too much. Fix for destroyed explosive barrels remain interactive. I never knew that happened, but it's good they fixed that too. Fix for being able to escape a snare by placing an object or using a stim. I don't think I ever knew that was possible, but could they fix that? Fix for generating a duplicate stim if it was thrown while being used. And the du duplicate could be recycled but not used. That's definitely a good fix because duplicating items is a bad thing. Turned off shadow casting on water plane. I'm assuming that means water had shadows and now they don't. Usually water doesn't have shadows, I don't think, so that's a good thing they fixed that. Probably slowed the game down too for people with shadows on. I have shadows off, so I don't have to worry about that. Fix for explosive mine detonating when an airdrop container landed on it and causing additional bugs. I've never had that happen. Fix to prevent melee and thrown weapon damage from being applied by dead players. 
Well, if they're dead and they throw an item, I would think it would still hurt you if it hit you. I don't know, but they fixed something there. Small leaves and branches will no longer collide with projectiles. That's probably a good thing because I always shoot in the air and accidentally hit trees. Fixed issue with larger trees. With collisions issues. Disabled feature that created friction when players collided. Fixed for bug where throws would offset the thrown weapon based on your compass. And I think that's a very good fix because now you can actually throw and hit where you're aiming at. Art passed on several buildings. I'm assuming that means they made some buildings look different. Crafted smoke bomb affects your teammates. And then the game it said it didn't, so they fixed that. Fixed for several animation related bugs. They don't really explain what they're talking about. They had two t-shirts saying the same name, and they fixed that. This closed alpha t-shirt, they changed the name, or the shirt, I'm not sure, I've never seen it, because it's only for closed alpha. New art for the toilets and refrigerators. Oh, the second place player will now see the hunted screen. Gas hazard is visible all the time now. The blindness, the blindness wound effect not going away, ever, that has been fixed. Pepper spray range reduced. That's been nerfed a little bit. Chemist perk rebalance to offer two times instead of three times the duration. So that's been nerfed. Submission mangler nerfed. Bows now use sights for aiming when zoomed instead of crosshairs. That should be interesting. It'll be like iron sights, I'm assuming. Player hit reaction animations have been made to look better, I'm assuming that means by polished. Rebalance loot rewards, that's a good thing, because now you won't go and get the lowest rarity if you won, and highest rarity, rarity if you lost, if you did bad. Okay, Cannibal Perk has been has been made better, 35 instead of 25 healed once you kill somebody. Okay, if you're in combat and you're crouching, you'll now be forced out of crouch when shoved or hit. Fixed for issue where man tracker was placed incorrectly in airdrop containers. I've never seen that, but thanks for fixing it. Orange juice has been nerfed. Projectile weapons line up with the crosshairs. That's a good thing. Chopper and basher perks. Reduction now applies to throw charge time and melee charge time. So chopper and basher have been made better. Fixed for bug with shove distances when holding some non-weapon items. Never knew what that was, but thanks for fixing it. Increase the placement time of these explosives. So that has been nerfed slightly, just a little bit. Fix for bug where center kill switch would not activate already used pylons. Improved UI message if you were banned. Fix for server crash related to thrown weapons. Bleed wounds have been nerfed. Increased duration of weakness. That has been made a quite a bit better. At least... Twice as good. Just a little over twice as good. Health stations have been nerfed to give you half the health for the cost. The cost has been doubled. Three crate Monte used to be able to go there and not get hurt from the explosions. But now they fixed that. Fixed for weapon attack speed ratings. The speed ratings actually will make the weapon hit faster now. Spear attack animations are different now. The spectator can no longer win, well that's a good thing because they weren't even in the match anymore. Uh, texture size, optimization, the texture, textures have been made better, that's what that means I guess. Bows now have different bleed wound intensities, that's a good thing. Med kits now heal for your big bone perk all the way to 115. And the camera speed will no longer be fixed to zoomed if you are disarmed. So those are all very good updates. Things have been nerfed. Things have been made better. If you liked me overviewing this, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more, if you want me to be more in depth, if you want me to go into the game and actually show you all these new things, let me know. Thank you for watching. Mr. WAPK out.